Hello from Chinesia.com, this is Mark Josie. Filling up the uh, paintball tank, ninja tank, PCP guns. Well, in the past, we introduced the uh, hand pump. Okay, this is a, ben a Benjamin hand pump. It's a great tool if you have one or two guns. But if you have a lot of guns <laughs> and a lot of tanks, that's not a good news because it's a lot of effort to pump. And today we'll be showing you some um, cool stuff. <laughs> so let us use up this bottle of air and I'll bring you to our new toy. So as you see, this is at 3000 PSI and I will screw it onto the drill's blackboard, empty it uh, in front of you guys and then we'll fill the, fill the thing up. So you can see our meter, the gauge. So everyone, we're at the our new toy here. <laughs> this is the compressor. Not the shop compressor, but voila. It's about the size of a computer case and um, this is by Omega. Uh, also by Raptor Pneumatic before. So basically, let me walk you through. This is a handle. This thing is super heavy. It's about 75 pounds uh, in weight. So let's take a look at that. Um, so you can see a lot of little different um, buttons and switches and stuff. Basically what you need to do when you buy this thing, open the box, take it out, you know, it's very heavy. So um, yeah, get someone to help you. And then this is the fill hose. Okay, basically it leads you to a, wow, look at that. Okay, a quick disconnect fitting. It's the um, brass, and you can actually see the coil here is kind of rainbowish color when you bend it and look at it under the light. So it's a hardened and uh, hardened spring coil, whatever you call that. Okay, quick disconnect, push, and you can connect that to your gun, tank, whatever. So you just screw this thing in. And basically that's all you need to do when you buy this thing. So nothing else is need uh, to be done. Here is uh, the water uh, window, whatever you call this. The, the cooling water. You can see water flowing here later. And um, this is what cools down the machine. And here it's a uh, burst disc. Okay, so in case the pressure is too high, this thing will pop and the gun supply uh, is supplied with, I mean not the gun, sorry, the machine it comes with some extra parts so you can actually replace that in case it, it busted. This thing, uh, you unscrew it, okay, and then inside here, whoa, let me go here, and then inside here is where you squeeze in some uh, grease. I'll show you the accessories later on but it's basically like a, a plastic needle kind of thing and you basically just uh, squeeze some grease okay white lithium grease into this hole okay, once uh, once a while okay the manual say uh, put grease there every 20 hours of operation and don't worry guys you don't have to count because there's a meter on this machine. So after you squeeze grease into here, screw that uh, thing in like so, a lot of thread, and then it will seal and be okay. Okay, this is the bleed hole. Okay, you unscrew this, it will bleed the holes right here. So basically, if you feel you need to go like that and tighten it up. This handle is full metal rubberized um, handle and they use aircraft grade aluminum for the whole thing so it's very sturdy before we get to the front let's look at the back this is the back and right here is a moisture filter and the thing actually really does separate moisture from uh, the air so you're guaranteed to have 100 percent dry air very nice dry and clean air so basically one uh, end of this cord is plugged to the power supply. Another one, you just plug it into this hole. Okay. One thing is, when you buy the thing, okay, this the breaker is set to off. So I was like kind of freaked out because you cannot turn the thing on. So it, this one, you have to press the reset so that turn the machine on. Okay. 
here um, hour meter you can see right now 30 hours and that is from the testing done by uh, air gun arizona and the vendor so they actually tested the machine run it for 30 hours to make sure that no nothing is going to uh, fail this one um, the store uh, vendor actually set it already so you don't need to set anything it's basically like uh, the speed of when they will bleed air and stuff like that so yeah this thing is really cool okay let's take a look right here <laughs> this is fun this is where you set the pressure uh, that you want to get the uh, fill up to so a trick here is um, okay do not press this button too hard because it will force the um, you see when I move this button okay. this thing here move to um, the spot that you want to move the uh, pin below and what you want to do is you press down on this button press down and you move okay guys now let's take a close look at this uh, blocking the light so you can see it and basically what you do is you're using that pin to move the two little stud that move the uh, two pins here okay the two red one the two red ones they are for setting first one is to set how much pressure to fill the tank to second one is a safety thing so basically the longer one is about like Oh, just go over that but do not go over this okay so the safety feature and the black needle you will see that needle raised as the uh, pump build up pressure and uh, so it, it will show how many how uh, much pressure you're at right now and such so if you want a 3,000 psi fill okay you'd have to turn it to 3,100 or 200 psi so that it will get to the 3,000 psi on your tank and there are like a one or two hundred psi loss um, when you bleed the host. So very simple construction. All you need to do is turn the thing on, okay, like this. And you see the red light, okay. Uh, green light is turned on and start. So this one now is set to 3000 psi for the ninja tanks and whatever tank. You can set it up to uh, 4500 psi as well, okay. So all you need to do now is plug the host into the tank and we're good to go. Okay guys, this is the empty tank. Let's uh, plug it in. Okay, you see, just quick disconnect, very easy. Ah, okay. There we go. Okay. Okay guys, let's go. Okay, so as you can hear the sound, I'm speaking normal voice, normal sound. Okay, so I'm not yelling or anything. And um, yeah, this thing is really quiet, you know. It's more like a sewing machine kind of sound. Okay, very quiet and I'm now using a shotgun mic to, to record the sound so you'll hear the machine more than me but yeah anyway <laughs> okay. so you see this black needle it keeps on building up okay and that means that it's moving and uh, it's starting to feel pressure so you can see how fast it will go and I have to like keep you guys entertained by talking about this thing or it just keep on going and when it's done it will automatically stop as well Okay, so we just got this in today and I want to share some fun facts with you guys. Uh, the first thing is, okay, I forgot to press the breaker thing so it didn't turn on, freaking me out for 15 minutes. And then after I find out, oh crap, <laughs> that little thing. So it worked and I was like, oh, very happy. Now, one thing is I was kind of surprised because when you are um, pulling a tank of a scuba tank or whatever thing, okay, you will for sure um, have the tank kind of hot, right? This thing is filling very fast and consistent, you see? The needle is very consistent. It's filling fast, but then it's not going to generate much heat on your tank. Look at the tank, right now. It's cold. The tank is cold. You can even see the uh, PSI jumping up. The tank is cold. It's not even hot. And that's really one big uh, advantage because you don't have to flash fill and break the seals, you know, melt down your O-ring and stuff like that. So it's really, really good. And the, the noise is very, very uh, quiet compared to a shock compressor. We have a shock compressor too and the, the noise is like freaky loud. So like it's so annoying to run that thing. So if you get a, like a shoebox kind of compressor, well, not that it's bad, but then um, you need a, a shock compressor 
So let's, uh, we're done, okay? You don't need to press the off button. It's off automatically. So all you need to do right now is the black needle, the black needle. Yeah, make sure all the air is vent out so you can actually, um, okay, don't shut this off because right now there is also a fan running inside to cool down the internals. So all you need to do is unplug this. Oops, I'll be, okay, there you go. And we're good. Look at that. 3,000 PSI. Wow. Okay, so there we go. The, t the tank is filled. I'm 
really happy about this thing. Hey guys, to end the video, I just want to show you this. This is a box it came with. It's super heavy. Just the box itself is so heavy and the package is 75 pounds. Wow. But the inside is not so bad. The uh, packing is awesome. It comes with a strapped styrofoam thing on the top. You just have to pull that out easily. And then inside, you can see the cardboard uh, box is really awesome. Don't throw this away. This is the special box created for this thing. So keep the box, okay? What's inside is there's a manual, uh, fully in English, okay? English, readable, okay? There's no Chinese or whatever inside. You even have pictures there showing you which is which part. And then there's a Y uh, wrench. <laughs> so there are three uh, different nut screws or whatever you call that uh, just to screw things around, okay? You don't need to use that as well. And then right here, you get a bag of coffee. I mean, I should, no, you don't. I was just using the bag, okay? Just uh, my own bag. So this is the grease. Um, it comes in a bag like this, and there's a needle thing. So basically, you know, this is the cap. Um, yeah, so just put the cap back on, you know, and store it properly. Okay. And then we got the um, antifreeze. Okay, orange color, very colorful. And then you have uh, this. Um, this thing, this tweezer, is for changing O-rings and stuff like that. So very considerate for that kind of thing. Because usually, you know, when you buy parts or whatever, they don't come with the tool. But this one, they give you a nice tweezer. There are tons of O-rings and burst disc and whatever screws inside. So in case anything fail, broken, whatever, you can do it yourself. This is the um, Royal Purple Ice, uh, I don't know what you call that, lubricant, okay? So that's it. This, I don't know if Air Gun Source put that in or something. It's really cool. They wrap the box around with a paracord, very, very thick paracord. So there's a handle. You can lift the box like this and then help you pull the box over. So this little thing, okay, you never heard from any users to talk about this kind of stuff. And um, I may be the only one or the first one who will be talking about this extensively. Later on, you will hear my uh, reviews on like, oh, after using for a while, like how it's going. Maybe I'll fill up bigger hanks and show you how long it will take and such. So doing more experiments with that. But you know what? At the end, I want to say this is a paradise compared to pumping with a hand pump. It's totally, totally like freaky versus in luxury <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye bye